In this video, we're going to focus on understanding chart area positioning in the plugin for Chart.js. So this is part four, and in here, we're going to learn really important part, which is the chart area positioning where we specify them all individually here. And this is very, very useful and very, very nice. In short, basically what this really does is here, when we did this, we broke down or we break down chart area into multiple aspects which are the top bottom left right width and height meaning the following here yeah. so what is exactly the chart area you might say well the chart area is probably just the canvas that we get here which is just so basically here there's 700 by 350 the answer is no the chart area is let's remove this inspector element is basically this very specific item here knowing that this here is your chart area and from there on we can start to push this into the right direction so let's start and explore this how we can do this and this is the chart area so let's make first of all i'm going to say here and we don't have to get the chart area because we broke it down into very specific elements so we don't say chart area but we just grab here the top bottom left right width etc etc so let's say here the top i'm going to put in here the top and save that let's see what happens if i do this refresh let's look at our console log all right we see here number 32 it loads 33 times but do not worry about this because it's rendering multiple times because of the animation as you can see here the animation i guess this is like a half second or something like that which means i think there's like 60 frames per second so 60 now in this case is 40 here so what happened here it's about what i would say most likely it's like six zero six a second like a, a bit more than a half second basically all right so that's why we have this here probably if we move on here you can see here we get more frame per second effects so ignore that not important who cares about this because this has no real impact for you what does have an impact is figuring out how we can push this one here to the right place so according to this it means here 32 it means this here is the top so according to chart.js data we know that the very top here this space here is 32 pixels before this line starts are we sure about that well we can test this by replacing this with top put it here in top remember this is here the starting point of the pixel so then we should be just on this top line here refresh you can see here now we're matching exactly on that line as what we want all right so there we have something so what about if we do another one what we can do here bottom if we save this refresh we see here the bottom console and you can see here 321 pixels and 0.6 basically so that would mean that this line is 321 pixels long or sorry it starts at this one here so here's my question are we going to use this value in here well you might say yes and i'll say the answer is no but i'm going to show you why so you have understand Let's save this because what happens now, we remember this one is not the ending point, but it will say here the height in pixels of the vertical level. So we're now indicating that we want to have a uh, length of 321 pixels. And you will see that this will be surpassing the line here. Refresh, and there you are. So now you can see here, this is not what we want. What we really want to do is we want to know here the full, the starting height of this or so basically here we have the starting point is zero it started at 32 pixels and then it goes down here somewhere here basically what we need to know is if it's 321 then we need to do minus 32 equals this i am not a good in calculation let's do a console.log for that i uh, haven't practiced my mathematics too much so sorry about that but it should be somewhere about here, I guess it's somewhere about 290 plus. 289, as you can see. All right, so that is our real length. But what we have is, or that's the length that we need. But what we have is 321.6. So that's why we're surpassing this, because we are now counting also this part here, because it will grab exactly, basically the pixel here of this is from the top, here at the canvas at the very top of the canvas all down to the line here 
So it calculates this, and we need to remove that space between there. So, what's the solution? Solution for this is height, area, chart area, height. So if you have this, we should have here now, let's do a console log, height, save that, then refresh. Now, as you can see, we get the exact value that we need, 289, and then 0.6, which is correct, because this is exactly on the nose or on the dot. Very, very accurate. So this is what we need. We need the height of this one, because this is the height in pixels, not the, the bottom. All right, so once we have this, I can remove that. You probably figured out what about the other. So you, you guess it now how we can do it. Let's remove the inspector element. All right, there we are. So with this, we already have one thing. And imagine we want to push this now here, just to the starting point at the left, all to the right. To do this, same story. We say here left, we put it in here. And then this one will not be the right, no, it will be the width, exactly. Paste that in here. Now we have a full covered item here, basically, or full covered canvas. And this is the way you can start to give it colors in your canvas. Of course, there's still a bit more that we still need to explore in the next video. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in ChartJS, check out in the description box the link directing to my ChartJS course where you can learn everything about ChartJS. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.